Hey kids, have you ever wondered what it would be like if you were born in a different place or time? Like what if you lived in a castle with chivalrous knights? Or what if you lived in the Wild West with cowboys? Or maybe in the age of the dinosaur? Did you know that God has actually put you right where he wants you? And he puts you here for a reason? And that's what we're learning about today in another Old Testament story. And this time, it's about a woman named Esther. Beautiful Esther went from pauper to princess. Esther was born in a really hard time in Israel's history. In fact, they weren't even really a country anymore. Life was pretty hard for Esther too. Her parents said when she was really young. So her uncle Mordecai adopted her. But God had a plan for Esther because one day something really crazy happened. The king had a beauty contest to see who would be the next queen, and Esther won. Ladies and gentlemen, your next queen is... Miss Israel! Wow! She was going to be the next queen, but then the story took a weird twist. Haman was a bad guy who tried to get rid of God's people. Haman was one of the king's counselors, and he hated God's people, the Israelites. So he tried to trick the king into hating them too, so that he could get rid of all of them. When Mordecai heard this, he said something really important to Esther. Memory verse! Who knows if perhaps you were made queen for such a time as this. Mordecai knew that God wouldn't let some evil guy wipe out his people. He knew that God had a plan and that Esther could be a big part of it. He knew that Esther was in just the right place, just the right time. So Mordecai and Esther outsmarted the bad guys. The king ended up really liking Mordecai and he really, really liked his beautiful queen, Esther. So when Esther asked the king to invite Haman over for dinner, he listened. Haman thought he was going to get a promotion or something, but he was wrong. Esther told him to leave her people alone. And when the king heard what Haman was doing, he got really mad. So instead of getting rid of God's people, the king got rid of Haman. Here's what we can learn from this, kids. God has you right where you are for a reason. And that's why you were born with the dinosaurs. God has you right where he wants you, just like Esther. He put you in your school, family, and even neighborhood so you could fulfill his purpose. Can you think of something great he might do through you? Keep honoring God and tell your friends about Jesus and you'll be on your way.